The public has always been interested in the personal life of the top officials of the state. At the same time, the mistresses of the representatives of the top authorities did not always remain in the shadows. They are usually rumored and known by sight. Imomali Rahman's famous mistresses are Nigina Amankulova is one of the most famous singers among Tajik pop stars. The Tajik people have long known about the attitude of Nigin and Imomali Rahman, but there are many unconfirmed and classified materials about which the president of Tajikistan go to the most beautiful girls of Tajikistan. Recently, on a popular opposition channel ISLOH TV, appeared secret documents which tells that President Rahman bring beautiful, glamorous underage girls. From the beginning, they are brought to the presidential residence. Then they will be taught for 1.5 to two months and prepare a wonderful night for the Tajik dictator, Imomali Rahman. Every week comes to this residence and rests with these girls, and then these girls will become the spouses of officials. That's what it does in Tajikistan. This information was transmitted to this channel by a former bodyguard of the president, in which he himself saw everything with his own eyes. Here it is necessary to pay attention that the conversation is about the president of one state. In which young teenage girls are fucked and their future is tanned. Also, a former bodyguard of the president said that this residence is so beautifully built. He said that all the teapots and spoons were made of gold. Myths about the mistress adventures of the Tajik dictator and the women who serve him today are no secret to anyone. Sexy President Imomali Rahman, despite repeated reproaches of the offended wife Aziza Mak Saduyoeva, continues to meet with mistresses. Among whom there are also pop singers and beautiful models. Rahman, who has an insatiable appetite for love, has forced many women to commit adultery over the years of his rule. To date, it contains a real harem of the famous beauties of Tajikistan. The mistresses accompany Imomali Rahman on official and unofficial trips to foreign countries. He never leaves his beauties for a minute, and always takes them with him under the guise of journalists, singers, and dancers. Golru Tabarova. Recently, one of the famous mistresses of Imomali Rahman was a 27-year-old pop singer Golru Tabarova, a native of the city of Kuliab. In June 2015, with the support of the President of the Republic of Tajikistan, she graduated from the State University of Arts named after M. Tursunzade. Currently, he is the artistic director of the Rukshona Dance Ensemble at the Tajik Indian Cultural Center in Dushanbe. The main meeting place of Imomali Rahman and Golru Tabarova is the presidential residence in the city of Kuliab. Golru Tabarova has repeatedly accompanied the president of the Republic of Tajikistan during his visits to Kitlan and Sugd regions. Recently, on the instructions of the president of the country, Golru Tabarova is regularly involved in all festive and official events. In particular, in July 2015. She and her dance group performed a concert program at the Palace of the Nation in honor of the arrival of Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi. During the Nigin Amankulova Mershal, a conflict arose between Golru Tabarova and another famous mistress of Irakman, Nigina Amankulova, during which Nigina demanded that Golru stop his love relationship with the president. You can't say anything. Nigina fell in love with Playboy Rahman more than a clear falcon. And now he is jealous of his rival. The reason for the conflict was also the fact that Golru Tabarova was included as the main participant in the festive events in honor of the Independence Day of the Republic of Tajikistan with the song "Vatan, Motherland." Nigina does not want to give up her Playboy, for which she takes active measures to discredit Golru Tabarova in front of Imomali Rahman. In particular, in August 2015, with her submission to the media. An article was published about the immoral lifestyle of Golru Tabarova and her driving a Lexus DH470 car, license plate 7111/001, in a drunken state. Imomali Rahman is considered one of the most odious and shocking personalities in Central Asia. Rahman has a rather classic combination of character, a combination of paranoia, megalomania, and a large amount of narcissism. He is involved in many unprecedented cases, which later made him the hero of a lot of stories and anecdotes, ridicule, and cartoons. He is popularly called Imam Tapak. Tapak is dung, go visuver, a stupid person who can ride a cow, as well as a cannibal, dictator, and fascist. Rahman is also the object of ridicule because he has appropriated many lavish and absolutely inappropriate titles for himself. For example, Janobi Ali and leader of the nation.
Having already recast these titles, the people call him not Janobi Ali, but Janobi Holy, Holy, Dummy, and instead of Peshwoy Malat, Leader of the Nation, Peshboy Malat, Stumbling of the Nation. Janobi Ali, the Leader of the Nation, is extremely prone to debauchery, and the assignment of another title would adorn his personality. I wonder what Imomali Rahman will do with his growing harem. Most likely, becoming a Padisha for life, he will again amend the laws of the Republic of Tajikistan and allow polygamy. Thus, Nigina Amankulova, Golru Tabarova and many others will take a worthy place in the family of Rahman, and Aziza Mak Sadullayeva will be able to pay more attention to her business. Nothing should prevent Padisha Rahman from being satisfied with the beauties of his harem at will. Why did he try to become a lifelong ruler? Such amorous adventures are not the first hobbies of the loving members of the Rahman family. In fact, stories about the adventures of the Tajik family number one roam the country abound, where dad and son compete in harems, throwing hundreds of thousands of dollars left and right. In this regard, the new love of the president of Tajikistan, Nigina Amankulova, would not hurt to get acquainted with the story in which the love spell of Imomali Rahman once involved the speaker of Tajik television, Sehat Aziz Marodova. But it all started then according to the same scenario. As now, then the concerned president divorced the object of his adoration from his lawful husband. No measures taken by his legal spouse, Baram Aziz Muradov, who then held the post of head of the oncology department of the Central Republican Hospital, helped. Actually, all sorts of women have been as presidential concubines at various times. First on the list was the daughter of the famous Tajik writer Boka Rahimzoda, the national television announcer Manira Rahimova. It is known that once, even during her student days, she rejected the advances of Imomali Rahman, who was destined to become the head of state. However, after that, Rahmanov, then, when he sat down in the presidential chair, he made an unequivocal offer to his youthful hobby. Manira could not resist and lay down on the bed, despite the status of a married woman. This intimate relationship lasted four years. The real passion of the president, Nigan Amunkulov, thanks to her love for Imomali Rahman, not only became one of the most popular singers in Tajikistan, but also managed to find warm places for her relatives, whom she transferred to the capital from the Sugd region. Together with the apartment given by Rahman Nigina in the Sovmanovsky house in Dushanbe worth $600,000, the singer literally bargained for her father a driver's seat in the government garage. The Tajik leader's affair with Diana, the daughter of the former defense minister and current presidential advisor on national security issues, Shirali Kairuyoev, has received a lot of publicity, despite all the measures taken to prevent information about this intimate relationship including its round-the-clock support by employees of the State Committee for National Security. However, the proximity to the presidential body determines and decides everything. This connection helped Shirali Kairuyoev to retain the post of minister even after the well-known tragic events in Rashta, when 28 Tajik soldiers were killed in one day.